Hello my awesome viewers, my name is Alex and welcome back to Fire Promoter. This is episode 7, and if you look here, you may be seeing that somebody is missing, and that certain person is Mickey Williams. I went ahead and released him. Long story, but in another uh, Fire Promoter save I had, he uh, ended up being a menace and never losing, so I just wanted to get him out of here because he's not really that good anyway. But everybody else still at the uh, still on the roster. Of course, Jack Howard out for one more month, and Bullock will be out for one more month, so Howard's going to be coming back this next month coming up. But since I uh, released um, Mickey Williams, I'm going to look for somebody else to sign. So I will get back to you when I find someone. Let's see if we can get Daniel Bryan. Doesn't like our st or our style doesn't match ours, so we have to offer him pretty good. Mu oh my God! All right, we'll go thirty-six thousand. Yes, we got Daniel Bryan. That is a big get for Alex Wrestling. Nice, nice, nice. Now I'm going to uh, set up the card, and I will get back to you right after this. Nobody no showed, and we are ready to go. But one thing I have noticed is that. For some reason, the attendance is down from what it was supposed to be, but uh, that's odd, so we won't have everybody here, but the tickets I set to be 60 bucks this time, so we should make a good amount of money. It told me that it would be max capacity, but I guess not. So, for our first match, we have Big Swole making her debut against Britt Baker. That's a match you've seen a lot and probably are sick of, but hey, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> then we got Matt Robinson taking on David Houston. Then we're going to have Thomas Walker... Going one on one with the dragon, Shingo Takagi. Then we got this match I'm excited for Taz versus Pack. And then another match that I'm very excited for Hiromu Takahashi taking on Daniel Bryan. Let's get this one started. Alright, here we go. We have Aubrey Edwards as our referee for tonight's show. As it may not be completely sold out, but the crowd is routed. As Britt Baker drops Big Swole to the mat. They lock up and uh, Swole takes, or gets taken down by Baker. They lock up and Baker sent into the corner. The ropes, they both go. Nice. Shades of Rey Mysterio with that uh, Bull Barrel Bulldog. But now Britt Baker with a cross body into the cover. Only a one count for Baker. Now the ropes, they both go. Big shoulder block by Big Swole. One of the strongest women's wrestlers in all of wrestling. That's why they call her Big Swole as she takes Britt Baker down and now has her in the Boston grab. But Swole wasn't able to get the job done there as Baker was able to get out of it. Baker coming off a loss last episode to Sonya Deville who made her ALW debut but wasn't signed. Definitely someone I'm going to be trying to sign in the future. It's just that when... If somebody doesn't uh, accept the contract, you can't offer another contract that month. You have to wait till the next month. So I try to make sure I go after people that I really, really want to get. But Sonya Deville is definitely somebody that I have on my radar. Same with Shingo and uh, Hiromu Takahashi. But right yet, I'm not going to offer them a contract just now. I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe Shingo will be next. I'm not sure. As Baker and Big Swole trading blows here as they go down to the mat into the cover. But... Britt Baker was able to kick out at one. Swole holds on to the ropes. Baker has her. Elbow to the back and now driving the knee into the mat. Clubbing blow by Big Swole into the camel clutch, but the doctor able to escape. Oh, big backbreaker there. Dropping her right down on the knee into another cover here. Close to the ropes, but not... Uh, under the rope. We're touching the rope as uh, Britt Baker was able to kick out at one, though. Drop kick there. Big club to the back again by Big Swole. Oh, and a double axe handle to the back. Right at the base of the neck, it looked like, maybe even. Now, Big Swole has her up and side headlock applied. Squeezing down on the head as uh, Michael Cole would like to say. They lock up again, and uh, Britt Baker falls to the mat. Elbow drop by Big Swole. They lock up, and again, the side headlock applied by 
Big Swole trying to show dominance over Britt Baker here tonight as she hits the flying crossbody again. Gets a two count that time. Super kick off the ropes. Sling blade. Breaking out all the big moves tonight, but she gets stopped in her tracks with that backbreaker by Big Swole. Elbow to the back again by Britt Baker. She lifts her up, goes in front, sends Swole into the corner, running clothesline in the corner, followed by a snap suplex. Nice combination by Britt Baker. Baker of another snap suplex. Both women up. Butterfly suplex. Baker on a roll here. Sends her off the ropes. Discus Lariat. Got her up and down with another scoop slam, but it looks like Britt may have tired herself out with all those moves in a row. Didn't take enough time to rest as now. Swole capitalizing. Goes for the chop block. That's illegal in football, but totally legal here in wrestling. And Swole, though, collapses to the mat after that kick by Baker. Big discus forearm. Lock up. Swole sends her into the corner. Oh, but she gets caught. Ushiguroshi by Britt Baker. Discus elbow, no, did not connect as Baker up and set down to the floor off of the apron. And Big Swole quite proud of herself, but Baker not having it. Got a chair in the ring swinging for the fences, but thankfully for Baker, or for Swole, I should say, she was out of the way. And now Swole getting fired up. Getting swole here tonight, if you will. She's got the headlock applied again. Trying to squeeze the life out of Britt Baker. Baker able to get out of it. And back and forth they go. Fighting spirit flowing through them as big discus lariat. Into the cover. No. 2.9. Baker either up again. Oshigoroshi. Into the cover. One. Two. No. 2.9 again. Got her up, and down. Face first on the mat. One, two, three. Britt Baker picks up the win. A needed win for her here tonight after losing to Sonya Deville in her last outing. The Baker Buster, <laughs> nice name, gets the job done for Britt Baker. Here in our opening match, and now it's time for Matt Robinson to take on David Houston, a, two people who have actually teamed before here in ALW and had success in their one tag team match, are going to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Two light heavyweights going at it. Here we go. Two high-flying young athletes going at it. As David Houston and Robinson looking to prove themselves here in this match, prove who's the better person. As Houston definitely, or I should say Robinson definitely showing some jealousy to David Houston as both of these men making their debuts here in this company. And Houston having a much better record so far. Houston currently sits at 4-2. and two. And meanwhile, Matt Robinson, as I look at my notes here, big Sue uh, or a scoop slam there, followed by the knee. Uh, Robinson... Sits at two and three. So, big difference there. Robinson hasn't had the most success, whereas Houston's had some impressive victories over some uh, good talent. Robinson definitely wants to get a win over the person he calls a friend here. And it shows that he's the better man, but David Houston, if uh, he has anything to say about that, that will not happen. There we go. They lock up. Back and forth they go. Big slap to the face takes down Matt Robinson. Oh, Robinson whiffed on that kick. If he would have connected, that would have been brutal. Knocks him down. Elbow to the back by uh, David Houston. They lock up again. Off the ropes goes Houston and uh, drop down with that back body drop. Landing hard on the mat. Oh, the... Uh, well, I don't even remember the name of that move, but a standing move installed. And <laughs> Robinson able to get out of it. I wanted to say penalty kick, but that's not correct. 
Another standing moonsault there. One, two, no, only one count. And now has the Boston Crab applied again. Houston was able to get out. Hits the jawbreaker. Flies to the top rope. Big splash, but Matt Robinson was in the ropes. Oh, he's got the chair. And uh, Robinson quickly got that out of the ring before he could fool the referee. Houston off the ropes, gets tossed up, but catches him with the Hurricane Rana two count. And a kick out. There we go, lock up. Another Hurricane Rana there, does not go for the cover off of it. Instead goes to the outside, off the ropes, drop kick misses. A big mistake there for David Houston. As Robinson fires away with some kicks off the ropes, he ducks that clothesline and hits a scoop slam, now driving the forearms into the face of David Houston. They might no longer be friends after this match. As they sure seem to be beating the hell out of each other right here as Robinson applies the figure four leg lock. Houston able to fight out of it though. He picks Robinson off the mat, goes behind. Oh my god, he spiked him. We lock up again. Off the ropes and the big knee to the midsection by Matt Robinson. Goes for the backdrop driver, but it was countered by David Houston. Houston fired up, but both men off the ropes. Big shoulder block takes down Houston. Off the ropes goes Robinson again. It goes for a kick, but Houston very quickly able to dodge that kick. And now trying to say that Robinson wants to hit him with a chair. And I don't think Aubrey's going to fall for this. No, she does not. That's one thing Houston likes to uh, do is try to fool the referee. And it doesn't seem to work out for him most of the time. Kick to the back of the head by Robinson. Big forearm. And now a lariat. This one's going a little crazy, folks, as he gets dropped onto the apron and to the floor. Now both men on the outside. Dangerous out there. You have the steel guardrails. You have the wooden floor. Definitely a dangerous spot to be in. Houston has the right idea. He gets back into the ring. Taunting the crowd. Robinson doesn't want to have any of it. The pedigree! That could have cost him the match. One, two, no! 2.9 and a kick out by Houston. Here we go, testing each other's will. Says no, 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 a super kick. Drop kick. But Robinson back up. Scoop slam by Houston into the running moonsault. One, two, no. I thought that was it. The crowd's going crazy as Robinson hit that knee to the midsection. Oh, victory roll here, but a rope break. Saves the match. For Matt Robinson as he hits a roundhouse kick right to the temple of David Houston. Now bringing Houston over to the corner. He climbs to the top rope. Big elbow drop to the back. Oh, he counters. Oh, he hit him off the turnbuckle into the victory roll and gets the win. What an awesome just awesome play there by David Houston for the win. 100%. That was a great match. Only our second match of the night, and it was really, really good. Great ending there. And Houston threw Matt Robinson into the turnbuckle as he came back off the turnbuckle. Caught him with that victory roll out of nowhere and got the win. So David Houston gets the win over Robinson tonight, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's not the end of... Their rivalry here. They might just be beginning. As we head into our next match, Thomas Walker, man who got a win last week, I believe against Matt Robinson. Yes, it was against Matt Robinson in our last show. And here tonight he's taking on the Dragon, Shingo Takagi. Last time we saw Shingo, it was on episode 5, and he lost to Pac in the main event. So, this one looks to be good as we get into our third match of the night. Fight. Aubrey says fight, the bell sounds, and we are underway as the dragon takes on Thomas Walker. Walker went for the flatliner there, did not connect, goes for it again. That's one problem with uh, Thomas Walker I've seen in his matches is that he often goes for the same move 
over and over again, even if he continues to miss it. That seems to uh, spell disaster for him sometimes in his con in his matches. Oh, and Aubrey just got clobbered. Jesus, I don't know if she's okay after that one. Blood gushing from her head. She looks fine, but she's bleeding a lot. She's a little tough. Aubrey Edwards is. Another lawsuit coming to ALW. Off the ropes they go. No, Shingo holds on. Now he locks up, and Walker takes him down with the body slam. Scoop slam, if you will. Shouts out to Dusty, if you will. Now they lock up. Big chop to the chest. They take off the ropes and a big forearm. Or a shoulder block to Thomas Walker. Took him down. Walker sits at 3-3 three and three here in ALW. Shingo not signed. So his match is technically, I guess, wouldn't be considered official. But I don't know. I mean, they're official for the people he's facing. So I guess they would. So technically, he's 1-1 one and one here in ALW. Big shoulder block again. Got him up and down. The scoop and the slam. And now, Aubrey asked if he gave up. He did not. Shingo now sends him into the corner. Locks up, but now Thomas Walker counters with the dragon screw. Just to let you know, I did check, and we are able to do tournaments soon. So I'm thinking that for... This is episode 7, so I'm thinking maybe for episode 10 might be our tournament to crown the first champion here in ALW. I'm going to put a poll on my Twitter. Oh my god! Jesus! Shingo just got spiked! Oh, and caught with the flatliner. Man, I need to focus on this match a little bit. As they lock up again, takes him down. I'm going to put up a poll on my Twitter. That's at A underscore Lex on YT. You can check me out on Twitter. I'm going to be putting up a poll uh, sometime after this episode is uploaded. As Thomas Walker hits that neckbreaker. Shango and Walker off the ropes. Oh, Walker was able to block that shoulder block. But in that poll, I'll be asking what title should be on the line in our first ever tournament. So tell me uh, on Twitter what you think. Now, Thomas Walker got sent to the outside by Shingo there off of that suplex onto the apron. And again, he gets thrown to the outside by Shingo. Shingo trying to maybe rile him up here. Possibly cause him to make a mistake knowing that Walker's a, a uh, rookie here in the business. But Walker... Now, getting some payback as he takes Shingo down onto the apron and to the floor. Shingo back into the ring. Snap suplex. Oh, Boston Crab applied by Thomas Walker. But the Dragon able to kick out now. Got him up bent down with Yushi Garoshi. Into the cover one, two, no. Two count is all, it, all he gets there before Shingo was able to Get the shoulder up. Now, locks up. Big spinning neck breaker into the cover again. Hooking the leg. No, 2.9. Oh, the victory roll. That's what won David Houston. It got David Houston to win in our last match, but Shingo was able to uh, get out of the uh, pin there. Now has the leg of Thomas Walker in the half Boston Crab that works on your hamstring. On your back, on your leg, and now he gets taken to the outside again with another suplex. Both men on the outside. And Shingo takes him down with the dragon screw. Got a count of 20, of course, to get back into the ring as Walker gets sent into the barricade. And now Shingo into the barricade. Walker has the steel chair. It's all legal on the outside as he just busted him open with that chair shot to the head. Shingo in the ring, but he's bleeding heavily. It's all over his chest on the mat. Big spinning neckbreaker again. Goes for the flatliner. It does not connect. Shingo locks up and sends him to the outside, and Shingo's getting fired up. Shingo goes to the outside, but Walker went back in. Shingo not feeling good, as you can see. Wobbly, losing all this blood. Now Walker off the ropes and a big uppercut. They lock up again. Oh, look at this. Dropping him down on the head. To the top. 450 splash, but he was in the ropes. Now they go back and forth with the forearms here. Shango says it's over. Huge lariat. 
bumping bomber, if you will, is now. Walker, though, again, counting with that swinging neckbreaker. Standing switch by Shingo, got him up. No, Shikami! That could be the end. One, two, no! 2.9. This one's getting good, folks. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Walker was looking for the jumping flatliner, but he got caught in midair with that chop. Now Shingo with the uh, axe handle to the back of the head. Who is going to get the win here in this bloody contest? Shingo bleeding. Even our referee, Aubrey Edwards, bleeding. The only person not bleeding. Oh, but it might be over for him here. Thomas Walker, though, luckily saved by the ropes. And they get sent off the ropes again. And now driven down with that back body drop. Shango's on fire. Got him up, bent down. The spinning neck worker of his own. Shango hit the last of the dragon. But luckily for Walker, he was in the ropes here. I think it would have spelled the end for Thomas Walker. Now he goes off the ropes. Big European uppercut into the cover. One, two, three. He got, he beat Shingo Takagi. Thomas Walker is on a roll as of late. He has gotten two big wins in a row. Last week, he was able to defeat Matt Robinson. And now, here tonight, defeat Shingo Takagi in an awesome match and he's definitely quickly climbing the ranks here in ALW and now we get into our semi-main event as Taz takes on Pac all right here we go the human suplex machine Taz versus the bastard Pac here in our semi-final match of the night as Pac comes into this with a win over the ROH World Champion Jay Lethal following a win over Shingo Takagi following a win over David Houston back on a three match winning streak as he goes into tonight's contest against Taz Taz definitely one of the most brutal athletes in all of professional wrestling Known for his suplexes and, of course, the Katahajime. Or the Taz mission, whatever you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. As Taz gets, Taz sends back to the ground. Now has the leg. But counter there by Pack. Just kicking him in the face to get out of that. As now he has the surfboard applied. But he was able to get out of it. Got him up. Down with the pile driver. Good lord. Luckily for Pac, his neck is like a brick. And that didn't really affect him. But pile driver early on in the contest. That's definitely going to matter down the line. If Taz can continue to apply pressure to the neck of Pac here. Pac, big kick to the head. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, big kick again. Pack had a less than stellar start here in ALW. Started out one and two, but after this three match winning streak, brought himself up to uh, four and two. So, here tonight, Pack hits the clothesline there. Here tonight, he looks to uh, continue the winning streak as he shows a great amount of strength there. Almost got the job done off of one suplex to Taz. Taz definitely not in his prime anymore, but it's still very impressive that Pac was able to get the 2.9 that quickly over Taz. Taz gets taken down by the boot of Pac. They lock up. Taz takes him down to the mat. Off the ropes, no. Oh, sweep of the legs by Pac. Expertly done as he sits in the corner running. Kick to the back of the head. We go, they lock up, and Taz takes him down. Pack has hit a lot of big moves here early on in this contest, whereas Taz seems to be having a little bit of trouble getting out of the gate. Now Pack with the tossing German suplex, just throwing Taz across the ring, and Taz is not, may not be the tallest man in the world, but 
He is like a brick shit house in that ring, dude. Very, uh, I love that term. He's a very stocky individual. Running over 250 pounds, so it's amazing that Pac was able to throw him like that. He just tapped out. He just made Taz tap out. That was just domination from the bastard as he defeats pa uh, Taz effortlessly. So the battle of the guys with three letter names ends with a submission victory for Pac. We didn't even get to see any Taz plexus. My God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. This one, I'm sure, will be good. Hiromu Takahashi will be taking on Daniel Bryan. But real quick, I don't want to miscredit Pac. That was a great win. Four wins in a row. Definitely has a lot of momentum going for him going into the tournament. And you never know. I might start it sooner than later. It might not be episode 10. You have to look at my Twitter and I'll probably announce it there. So let's get into our next match of the night. Our main event of the night. Hiromu Takahashi taking on Daniel Bryan. All right, here we go. Main event time here in ALW as Daniel Bryan makes his debut in a match. I'm sure it's a dream match for a lot of you. Daniel Bryan and Hiromu Takahashi are going at it here in our main event as Daniel Bryan gets take down, taken down to the mat with the arm drag by Takahashi. Takahashi off the ropes, big forearm. And now they lock up Teft to Strength there, and Daniel Bryan able to connect with the drop toe hold. Another arm drag by Hiromu, and now has the headlock applied there, but Daniel Bryan was able to get out of it. Teft to Strength again, and Daniel Bryan takes him down to the mat. Hiromu Takahashi made his ALW debut last week, again, unsigned, but he took on... Uh, let me look at my notes here real quick. Should have this prepared, but I don't, because I'm a dummy. Uh, in our last show, Hiromu Takahashi defeated Scorpio Sky, a man who is getting a break tonight here, as he seems to not be doing too hot, and just needs to take some time to revitalize his... Um, or maybe just kind of look back at some of uh, his matches and see what he can do differently to kind of do better here in ALW, but I'm sure Scorpio Sky will bounce back. It's now, speaking of bouncing back, they bounce off the ropes into the forearm by Daniel Bryan. Here we go. Yelling yes as he hits the kicks. And now Daniel Bryan dragging him by the legs. The American Dragon, though, get taken down to the mat. Oh, Danny Bryan gets taken down again. And now... Neither man connecting with a strike there. Bryan looking for the guillotine again, but Roma Takashi counters. Big forearm to the face. Off the ropes it goes. Go behind by Bryan into the uh, chop block. Shades of William Regal there. The dirty tactics. Definitely learned from Regal. Though Daniel Bryan doesn't really use dirty tactics that often, but he will use them when he needs to. Oh, look at that expertly done knee bar. Hiromu Takahashi able to get out of it. Big forearms to the face of Daniel Bryan. Now lifts him up, takes him down with the arm drag. Pulls him away from the ropes, sends him into the corner, running forearm to the face. Goes behind him with the victory roll by Daniel Bryan, and... Takahashi able to get out of it. Now goes for the cover on Brian. Brian kicks out again. Now off the ropes. Go behind by Brian. Back elbow by Takahashi off the ropes. Drop kick to the back. And now Daniel Bryan. Oh, look at this. Gets caught though with the victory roll in a two count for Takahashi, but he gets caught again with that knee bar by Brian. Now, each man trying to gain the advantage over the other. Takashi off the ropes with a splash. Rope break, though, will stop the pinning attempt. Now look up again. Takashi sends him off the ropes. Big Frankensteiner by the ticking time bomb. And 
They lock up again. Daniel Bryan again with the knee bar. Guess that would be a knee bar. Maybe an ankle lock? Seems like he was putting some torque on the ankle as well. Maybe both. But now Takahashi showing his submission uh, prowess here. But Daniel Bryan able to escape that triangle. Super kick though. Cut flush on the jaw. Daniel Bryan, but Bryan firing back with some brutal European uppercuts. Going flat on his face there off the dropped hold. Roll up here by Bryan. One, only a one count. Chop to the chest. Danny Bryan goes off the ropes here. Connects with a big kick to the back of the head, but Romu's up first. And Bryan the veteran. Takahashi drives him down though. Sorry if I blew out the mic there. Now off the ropes he goes, Hurricane Rana. Lock up again. Takashi got him up. Oh, it's over. Here it is. One, two, no. Brian kicked out. I don't know how he did it, but he did. Big roundhouse kick to the head. Into the cover. Is that it? No, kick out by Takahashi. Big uppercuts to Hiromu. Now Brian goes behind. Oh, shot to the balls into the... Oh my God. Did he steal one? I thought he stole one. Maybe Brian is going to fight a little dirtier here in ALWS. Oh my God. Vintage Hiromu Takahashi. Just throwing his body at Daniel Bryan here on the outside. Now Brian gets sent all the way into that barricade. Takahashi back into the ring. Here we go, locks up. Daniel Bryan with the elbow to the back. Into the lapel lock. Is Takahashi gonna tap out? No, he escapes. Now they lock up again. Has him up. Oh, God, so bomb. Jesus. Super kick to the back of the head. This one. It's going crazy as we see the cross face now by Daniel Bryan. Is that going to be it? No. I mean, Takahashi was able to get out. Not another one. Oh my god, the Canadian Destroyer. Daniel Bryan having history, having a history of head and neck problems. Getting dropped on his head over and over tonight by Hiromu. Off the ropes goes Bryan. Drop kick by Takahashi. He lifts him up. Goes behind, but he gets caught. Thankfully for Takahashi, though, he was in within distance of the ropes. Able to get the rope break, but the label lock locked in again, and he taps out. Daniel Bryan taps out Hiromu Takahashi in our main event. That one was fast and furious from the beginning of the contest. Daniel Bryan gets his first win. Hiromu Takahashi takes his first loss here. In ALW, that, again, was another great match on a great show. I don't know if we got over 90% this time. No, only 88%. But that's all right. Definitely good show from top to bottom as we end the event and look for the results here. So, didn't have max capacity. Uh, so, we're ready to book a greater venue, bigger venue, but okay. So that seemed good. Let's see how we did on money. I think I used $89,000. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I uh, gained some money this month as we look at what's going on. Uh, Gresham won the Ring of Honor Junior Heavyweight Championship. So that's cool. Okay, got $8,000. So as long as we're not in the red, things are good. Let's get the detailed information because uh, I got some merch. Okay, so that did all right. Ticket price of $60, had 1,504 people. $23,000 spent on guest wrestlers, 4,800 on the venue, advertising with 8,400. Uh, salaries is 9,620, so that's good to know. Uh, gym upkeep, 4,000. I need to upgrade that actually soon and upgrade some other things too because I haven't upgraded really anything yet. Uh, transfers, negotiations, blah, blah, blah. So, we did pretty good that month. Nothing noteworthy happened. So, I guess no news is good news. As we head into year one, August. 
episode 8 will be next, uh, Jack Howard has been released from the hospital. And I want to try to make sure nobody gets injured on our way to that tournament. And I'm going to see if we can sign some bigger names ahead of that tournament as we get closer and closer. That will most likely happen on episode 10, but check for my Twitter. Or, I mean, if, if something changes, I'll tell you in the next episode. So, thank you again for watching uh, this series. Thank you for watching this episode. If you haven't seen the other parts, you can find a playlist on my channel that has all of the parts so far. Uh, leave your comments down below, giving me your thoughts on the show, giving me your thoughts on the series. What do you think I can do to improve it? What you've liked so far? What you've disliked? Please like the video if you liked it. I have been a Oh, and subscribe, of course. That's the most important. I have been Alex and I will see you next time.